Everybody, it's been a beautiful day today. We had to go over there and get them cattle up over there. When they're on this side of the farm over here, they ain't hard to find, but sometimes if they way over yonder, we gotta go find them and get them. And there's still a few in there that's kinda what you might call wild. We're gonna feed these things, and I'm pretty sure tonight, I'm gonna smoke a pumpkin pie for you. Good evening, y'all. Welcome back. It's supper time. I'm about to make some chili. My voice is still crazy. All day long today, I could hardly even talk for most of the day. It just started clearing up a little bit. I guess probably about an hour, hour and a half ago, I finally was able to, you know, talk a little bit. But yeah, we are gonna make some chili. I was thinking earlier today, I would really like some chili. And then Titus called a little while ago and he was like, I think I'd like some chili. So we had the same thoughts going on today. The cool air is making us want some chili. And apparently making him want pumpkin pie. Hello, fall. This time of year, I get excited. It's been nice to burn these hills today. I mean, really. It's been chilly. It's been chilly. Mama, no pun. We're fixing to make some good chili. You talking to the birds? No. <laughs> yeah, I do. And a pumpkin pie. Smoked pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie on the green egg. Made spider from. Web. Get out of here. Just because it's October, they won't start building spider webs right there on my green egg. You're actually going to use a pie pumpkin, right? Not canned. No, I'm not doing nothing. No, to not from a can. No. Uh Boy, let me tell you something. You know you're having a good day when you grab the right side and it comes off like that. Those things never do that for me. Right, well. I struggle. I was trying to open the chicken feed the other day and it kept messing up. <laughs> you know what? what did the boys move that uh, tall heater down to the shed or do we still have it up here? We moved Something it. Something I bought last year. I mean, we should have just weather. left it up here. It was on clearance last year because it was bent up or something and we got it. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Okay, I've got the ground beef started for the chili. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up these two onions, this green bell pepper, and this red one. <laughs> Joel is out there asking Titus, what are you making? And he said, when he told him to pumpkin pie, he's like, on the grill? When he first told me he was gonna make a pumpkin pie out there, I was like, okay. So I'm gonna get the peppers and onions in here. Then we'll chop up a little garlic. And I was gonna make cornbread, but everybody's saying they want crackers. I <laughs> shot those onions everywhere. So we're just gonna have crackers. It seems like it got cold here really quickly. I don't know. Like normally we're still having pretty warm weather until at least mid-October or toward the end of October. But it's like for real time for coats. I washed everybody's coats last night from where they've been stored this summer, which it seems like I just put them away. Okay, let me go ahead and stir this up. This is about three and a half pounds of ground beef, so I'm making a lot of chili. It's gonna be a lot. We'll probably have leftovers for lunch at least tomorrow. <laughs> Man, he's out there singing. They're all out there waiting for him to put those pumpkins on the grill. Awfully quiet in here. Jacob and Tyler went to town real quick. He's wanting to get something for his truck. Tyler's wanting to get something for his truck. So Jake took him up there because he's not 16 yet. A lot of people were asking him when he got his truck the other day. He'll be 16 on his birthday. So he's very excited about that. Now, I'm definitely gonna have to get a big pot. I don't have to get that gigantic pot. You know what? I will make it in two separate pots before I have to use that gigantic pot. 
it's for tamales. Well, I mean, that's what we originally bought it for, but it is so deep. It's just not, you know, not very comfortable to cook in. Okay, so here's what we've got. We'll call this the wheel of chili. <laughs> it's a lot of ingredients. We have pinto beans, tomatoes, black beans, chili beans, salt, oh, more diced tomatoes, just tomatoes, crushed red pepper flakes, tomato paste, pepper, chili powder, paprika, ground cumin, and Smoky Mountain corn relish. I already washed that one. You did, baby? I didn't know you were gonna do it. That's all I'm worried about. I don't want nobody to get hurt washing this off or. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do two because I'm not sure how much. We're not sure how much it's gonna yield. Right. And uh, if we have any extra, we'll just, you know, put it in a mason jar. That, well, that's what you do with anything. That's what you do with anything down in here. The South, you got something extra, put it in a mason jar. Got an onion? You got an <laughs> onion left over, get a mason jar. <laughs> or a country crop um, tub. We're in the fall spirit. You can right cut now. it this way, too. But that wouldn't be fun. But. <laughs> do it the fun way. Now. Oh, look at get, that. Look at there. I saw at the convenience store pumpkin, pumpkin seeds. seeds that you could eat just like sunflower seeds. Yeah, I've, never I've made those. some. Yes, you have. I've made some. My wife made some one time. I remember. <laughs> We're going to make these. Pumpkin seeds roasting on an open fire. Don't you dare get me in the season of Christmas and everything right now. You know, I may plant me a pumpkin patch out in the front yard oh, right now. Oh, I wish we could. That would be nice. Keep yard full seeds. of pumpkins. I'll Darn plant them. Pumpkin. I'll get everybody in the season of pumpkin. Just reach in there. Get it out. Oh, I see how you doing that. This is really, really getting good. Exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and place these pumpkins right here. What hey, what that thing's doing a little sizzle. That's it. Alright, ground beef is done. We're gonna drain it. Okay, I brought over my pot here. I am very hopeful that I can fit everything in here. It's the biggest one I have, I believe. Well, this one might be a little bigger. Let me see. <laughs> We're gonna go with the black one. It's a little bigger. I think we can fit it all in here. I'm putting in the diced tomatoes. Sorry about my voice squeaking and things. Go ahead and turn it back to medium. Now the beans. I'm gonna drain these pinto beans. You can use, of course, red kidney beans, but I think that that's one of the reasons Titus and the kids would sometimes say they didn't like chili. I think they just didn't like the red kidney beans because if I make it without the kidney beans, they love it. So we swap it out and use pintos instead. <laughs> I'm gonna drain and rinse the black beans real quick. And the chili beans. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other stuff in. We're just adding some salt. Just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Not many, maybe a teaspoon. Oh, I forgot the tomato paste. I knew I was forgetting something. And I forgot to add the garlic in with the ground beef, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'll add a little bit of garlic powder in here. I just completely forgot it. We'll go ahead and put that in now. Just about a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a tablespoon and a half of chili powder, and about a teaspoon of ground cumin. and put in the Smoky Mountain Corn Relish. So this just has, let me see if it tells what's in it. Corn, onions, pepper, vinegar, sugar, garlic, salt, and spices. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Corn Relish. put in the ground beef and this is done. It's just gonna sit over here and simmer while we make the pumpkin pies. And I can smell them, like I'm totally smelling pumpkin right now, so I bet it smells all pumpkin-y outside. 
Okay, I tasted it. It needs just a little sprinkle of sugar in here. That should make it just right. It is really good. And like I said, I might have to add a little water. I'll just let it simmer and keep a watch on it. We'll add some if we need to. What do you think? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now what I think. This is just straight up right, right off the top of my head. What we're gonna call this, what we're gonna name you is Smoky Mountain Chili. Your name is Smoky Mountain Chili. Look at that yumminess right there. I'm gonna tell y'all something. That Smoky Mountain relish, corn relish that we put in here, is so good you can eat it by itself. You wanna put a link to that? I think that company ships. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, because I got that honey. Show everybody your it's honey really collection. yummy. He has a honey collection. This ain't all. Oh yeah, she gave you a little card. She gave me a card. Yeah. And I'm gonna definitely. Uh, Cheryl. I, mean, I there's think no, there's no need for me to get them to ship it to me. I can just go over and get Cheryl it. Cheryl Produce. Wanna, you know. Say for example, if I broke my leg <laughs> or something, say a horse kicked me like it did the other day. I've been being kicked twice, mm -hmm. and I'm feeling some better today. But I just don't even imagine that my leg got broke. But if it did, I'd call it for an oral. Hey. I think honey. it was called Cheryl. I need honey, Cheryl. <laughs> Not Cheryl. Cheryl. See, I knew he would think I was saying Cheryl. Because down here in the country, if your name is Cheryl, most people are probably going to say Cheryl. But I mean Cheryl like. Shirley? I think it was S H E A R L. Cheryl, I think. This is probably some of the best chili I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> Suddenly I smelled Play Doh and looked to my right. A multi flavored Play Doh ice cream cone. I'm going to go ahead and sample this again. Make sure it's okay for everybody. I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not, I'm not gonna do like Paula Dean right here, just oh. cram it in my mouth, sear every taste bud on Poor my Paula. palate. Need anything? <laughs> Is this these Venus fly trap? Mm hmm Well, I'll tell you. What am I gonna do if I come out here one day just cooking with my humble self and this son of a gun grabs a hold of me? Where's your daddy at? The Venus fly trap's got his head out there. He can't get loose. <laughs> start mixing everything for the pies. This pumpkin pie recipe that we're using is a really good recipe. It has cream cheese and stuff in it, so it's almost like a pumpkin cheesecake pie. It's really good. So you can, of course, use canned pumpkin instead of that, you know, real pumpkins if you want to. If you do decide to do that, it's just one big can of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling, but one big can of pumpkin puree. And this recipe makes two pumpkin pies, so you can make one for now and one to freeze for later. Now hold your stem. This may not be as easy as I thought it was going to be, everybody. <laughs> Why don't we just do that, everybody? Just peel it, just like an orange. Okay, we're just going to let the mixer do its thing. Alright, we're putting in a whole block of softened cream cheese. We're putting in a quarter cup of melted butter. One egg. <laughs> One egg? One egg plus two egg yolks. Half a cup of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and let this be mixed and while I get the other stuff ready. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Half a cup of heavy cream. A teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And that's it. We threw some potatoes on there to go with the chili too, so. Alrighty, we're gonna let them go for about an hour at 350.
my special one, let's cuddle up and read. A once upon a time for two, what more could bedtime need? Yes. Yeah.